In the 1930s, amateur astronomer Grote Reber was captivated by Carl Jansky's groundbreaking discovery, cosmic radio waves from the Milky Way. Unlike Jansky's government-funded research, Reber worked alone, transforming his Illinois backyard into a radio astronomy lab. Armed with Jansky's papers and relentless curiosity, he sketched designs for a revolutionary instrument, a parabolic antenna, to capture these celestial whispers. This marked the birth of independent radio astronomy. With no formal training, Reber single-handedly built the world's first dedicated radio telescope in 1937. Using salvaged wood and sheet metal, he constructed a 31-foot parabolic dish precision engineered to focus cosmic radio waves onto a receiver. Each bolt was hand-tightened, every strut aligned by star measurements. This makeshift marvel in his backyard would soon outperform Jansky's original antenna, proving amateur science could achieve professional-grade discoveries. For weeks, Reber painstakingly tuned his homemade receiver to 160 megahertz, the frequency where celestial signals whispered. On a clear 1938 night, his antenna locked onto Sagittarius, the Milky Way's heart. Graph paper slowly unspooled as a needle etched jagged lines recording the galaxy's radio heartbeat. Despite static and failed attempts, this data contained something unprecedented. Proof that cosmic radio waves weren't random noise but carried galactic structure. By 1944, Reber's accumulated data revealed a stunning truth the Milky Way wasn't just stars. His hand-drawn maps showed intense radio emissions along the galactic plane, mapping spiral arms invisible to optical telescopes. Published in Astrophysical Journal, these findings proved galaxies emitted radio waves, birthing modern radio astronomy. Reber's backyard experiment gave humanity literal new perspective, seeing our galaxy from the outside. For the first time,